All right, then I'd like to call this meeting to order. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. <clears throat> All three members of the Watupa Water Board are participating in the October 14th, 2021 meeting remotely. I, President James Terrio, member Christopher Ferreira, and member Robert Pearson are all participating remotely. <clears throat> I would, uh, first item on the agenda is citizen input. Is there any citizen input? Hearing none, I would move that we go to item number two on the agenda, which is the minutes of the previous meeting. Members were given a copy of the minutes of the previous meeting in their packet, emailed to them. Are there any corrections, adjustments, omissions to I the minutes? To Sir? I'll the reading. I make a motion to accept the minutes of the previous meeting without reading anything further. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. A second? second. I do second that. Thank motion you. is seconded. Minutes of the previous meeting are approved. Uh, just as Move a, to uh, item number three, rules and regulations uh, for the gate access program. Excuse me, President. Mr. Terry, I think Mr. Phil has something he wants to add. Yep, President Thanks. Terry, just uh, if we could go back to item number two, our roll call vote is required since we're all participating remotely. Um, so if you'd like, I can call the roll for a vote on item number two. Okay, we'll call the roll for, excuse me, vote on item number two, call the rolls. President Clerk. Terrio. President Terrio. Here. Yeah. Uh, Member Pearson. Here. Yeah. Member Ferrer. Yes. Next time on the agenda, please. Excellent. Second item on the agenda uh, were the minutes of the uh, previous meeting. Uh, those were approved. Item number three, rules and regulations on the gate access. Mr. Clerk. Uh, so in, at your last meeting, you had uh, <clears throat> an MOU for a pilot program with uh, filing gate access uh, for hunters within the uh, within the reservation. Uh, Mike Labossio along uh, was, um, the president and uh, with some input from me has uh, come up uh, based on uh, what the board expressed at the last meeting during their deliberations uh, have come up with the uh, uh, pilot program uh, rules and regulations that uh, that you have in front of you for uh, today. Um, as you go through this, you can see uh, there's a lot of things in here for uh, protection of our watershed area. Uh, the particular area that uh, access is being provided is very, uh, very small, limited area. Um, it has had hunting open within this area since 2009, uh, when the uh, fire reserve conservation restriction uh, was enacted. Uh, it's always uh, just allowed roadside, um, you know, roadside parking with walk-in hunting. Uh, which uh, which is uh, allowed throughout the whole entire bioreserve. Um, Mr. So President, I'd make a motion that the clerk read each item so there'll be no confusion in the future. Okay, if you'd like, I can read through the... Uh, I, can I believe read there's the, a motion been made. I can read. The motion would have to be seconded. Motion made by Mr. Pearson. We're looking for a second. Uh, I I would second that. Yeah. Yes, seconded by Mr. Ferreira. Uh, Call the roll. President Terrio. Yes. Member Pearson. Yes. Member Ferreira. Yes. 
Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Phil. It's just that this is such an important item. I don't want any backlash in the future. So yep. if you would, please. Uh, so it starts off City of Fall River. The head of starts off City of Fall River, Department of Community Utilities, Water Division, Treatment and Resources, uh, Watupper Reservation, uh, 2021 Fire Lane Gate Access Pilot Program for Hunters Retrieving Deer. Policy, the original policy was approved by with the Watupper Water Board on 8-11-21. First heading is the General Public Advisory. Uh, the general public should be aware Hunting is allowed in the Fall River watershed lands east of Blossom Road and Maori Path. The area west of Blossom Road and Maori Path are restricted water supply areas and access for any kind is prohibited. During hunting season, the public is advised to wear 500 square inches of high-vis orange when in areas open to hunting. Hunting in Fall River water supply lands, heading number two. Uh, in the past, hunting in the Watupper Reservation was prohibited. In 2009, the Bioreserve Conservation Restriction held by C DCR and Mass Wildlife was recorded. And thereafter, hunting has been allowed in designated area in the Watupper Reservation. This includes thousands of acres east of Blossom Road, most accessible by parking at parking areas or along public roads and walking down gated fire lanes. All Massachusetts licensed hunters may hunt game allowed by law during their season on the Watupper Reservation. The next heading, a gate access pilot program. In 2021, the Watupper Water Board approved a pilot program giving 25 hunters a key to unlock specific fire lane gates for the primary purpose of retrieving harvested deer during the hunting season. Keys will be made available at the Watupa Reservation headquarters on a first come first serve basis. Rules and regulations shall apply to keyed hunters. Recommendations for review and approval by the Watupa Water Board 10 14 21 meeting rules and regulations hunters must have a valid motor vehicle license and a valid mass hunting license hunters must provide vehicle registration for the vehicle associated with the permit one key provided per permit only one vehicle allowed per permit no, no charge for the permit. Rearview mirror hanger with permit number must be visible at all times when vehicles on watershed property. No ATVs allowed at any time on Bio Reserve or with Tupper Reservation lands. No tire spinning of trail damage. Must stay on established trails. Gate access for hunting purposes only, is for hunting purposes only. There's a typo right there, uh, four is twice. Um, blocking or parking of fire lanes is prohibited. Lock gate immediately after entering, entering and exiting watershed land. Vehicle access is limited to main north-south trunk trail in portions of Lightning Lane, west of Trunk Trail only. Mr. Phil, may I interrupt for a moment, please? Yes. Please, please mark where you are so you won't uh, forget. Yep. If we could go back a few lines, it says no charge for permit. I would Correct. think that maybe in the future we might need to think about charging so we could at least make some money off of this uh, source of revenue. Just an idea. You can continue with your wish. Make a note of that, Mr. Pearson. Thank you. Thank you. Copy. Would the court like to continue uh, taking up a copy of kill registration? Yep. Copy of kill registration must be sent to Watupa Reservation headquarters. 
No one person is allowed within any land in the Wetupper Reservation except from one hour before sunrise, one hour after sunset, unless authorized by written permission from the administrator or its designee. All acts which pollute or may pollute the water supply are prohibited. No litter or refuge of any sort may be thrown or left in any land or water within the Wetupper reservations. All persons within said reservation shall use the sanitary facilities uh, elsewhere. All acts which injure the property of the city of Fall River are pro prohibited. No person shall injure, injure, deface, destroy, remove, or carry off any property, real or personal, under the care and control of the Department of Community Utilities, including but not limited to all historic artifacts and natural materials, the removal of gravels, topsoil, stones, boulders, or other earthen material is prohibited from the Watupper Reservation, except for removal uh, for official use for land management purposes by department staff. No person shall build or construct any objects or structures of the property uh, of, the city, of the city of Fall River, except with the written permission of the administrator or its designee. Cooking and all fires are prohibited within the Watampa Reservation. No person shall wade or swim in any tributary or surface waters on or within the property of the Department of Community Utilities. The department and its employees are not responsible for any damage or loss of property sustained by hunters or for any injury or loss of life which may be incurred in connection with the public use of the Watupper Reservation. Breach of peace, profanity, or other disorderly conduct offensive to the general public is strictly prohibited within the Watupper Reservation. Possession of and drinking of alcoholic beverages is prohibited within, the, within said system. No person shall bring any animal within any Watupper Reservation property. Parades, games, fairs, carnival, fishing derbies, bazaars, gifts, or solicita solicitations for rising, raising or collecting funds shall not be permitted within the Watupper Reservation without written approval of the administrator or its des designee. Lotteries, raffles, gambling, and games of chance are prohibited. And no person shall have possession of machinery, instruments, or equipment of any kind for use of same in the Watupa Reservation. Public assemblies of more than 25 persons shall not be allowed within the Watupa Reservation without the, a written permit from the form um, from the administrator or its designee. No person shall engage in any business, sale, or display of goods or wares within the Watupa Reservation without written permit from the administrator or its designee. Commercial signs and advertising are prohibited in the, in the Watupa Reservation. No person, unless authorized by law, license, or permit, shall have possession of or discharge any weapon, firearm, fireworks, or other explosives on or within the Watupa Reservation. All forms of target shooting are prohibited on or within the Watupa Reservation. No person may hunt, shoot, or trap animals on or within the Watupa Reservation property, except at times and in, in areas designated by the administrator or its designee. All persons within the Watupa Reservation shall obey the lawful directs or regulatory signs, police officers, environmental police officers, or persons in charge or of federal or commonwealth wardens or enforcement officials. Watupper reservation or parts thereof may be closed for public access at the discretion of the administrator or its designee when necessary to protect the lands and waters under the care and control of the Department of Community Utilities. Access permits are valid only for the person named on the permit. Certain areas 
shall be designated off limits to permittees and are located on the map provided. Access to the hunting area shall be access permit only. Hunting implements. Shotguns are allowed only during the shotgun season. Shotguns include shotguns with a rifled bore, not larger than 10 gauge, slugs only. Archery equipment may be used during the shotgun season and primitive firearm seasons. Mass wildlife regulations apply. Muzzle loaders are allowed during the shotgun season and primitive firearm season. Mass wildlife regulations apply. Handguns are not allowed for deer hunting and may not be in your possession while deer hunting. The Mr. Use President, if I may, can we take a couple of seconds to let Mr. Thurlon get his breath? That's quite lengthy. <laughs> I, I fully agree. Um, take a couple of seconds there. <laughs> I have, um, I don't know if this is the appropriate time or place, but I have a couple of uh, additions to this that I would like the board to consider. One is where the second item on the second page says no person shall bring any animal within the Watupa reservation property. Under the CR, hunting dogs and hunting dog training is permitted. So I would like to uh, at least note that. The second one is that no person uh, authorized by law, license, or permit shall discharge any weapon or firearms. Under the CR, we have designated the rifle range at uh, Copacut as, um, as a permitted use. So I would note that also. These would be just notes of uh, personal information? Sir? These are just additional notes of information? Yes, I believe so. Uh, I think perhaps they ought to be added at another time. Well, if you want, we, we, can, amend, we can amend the rules and regulations as just, exactly. state, as just stated uh, so that they do become part of the record. I'd make that motion, which would require motion a second made. roll call. All right, I have a second. 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 Motion made and seconded. Do we have a voice vote on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passed. Roll call vote on that, President Terry. Yeah, roll call vote on it. Yep. Yes. Member Pearson? Yes. And Member Ferrer? Yes. Mr. Phil, if you would, when those are uh, added, if you could send us copies, please. Yes. Thank you, please continue. Okay, we're on to tree stands. Uh, second bullet up from the bottom on the uh, second page of the rules and regulations. Uh, use of tree stands is permitted, allowed 20 days prior to the controlled hunt and must be removed 30 days after the controlled hunt. All tree stands must be visibly labeled with the person's information. Name, address, hunter ID, number. All per permittees must have a copy of their permit on them at all times. All permittees must display a copy of their permit on the mirror or their motor vehicle. That raises a question, if I may. What if a tree stand is left for more than 30 days after the controlled hunt? Does that become property of the... Uh, of Mr. Labasia and he calls the person to come and get it or what? Um, we, don't want to, we don't want these things up all year long. This is this is this is a situation. Uh, may I permit it to speak? Um, this is a this situation that could happen even now and, and since we've allowed hunting, generally it's not a problem. Um, if they're left beyond the time and I get a complaint, I'll put a note on it and, um, you know, give a person so often to, uh, to come and retrieve it. And um, if the person hasn't retrieved it, I'll generally bring it back here, just put it aside in case somebody wants to come to claim it at another time. 
Michael, I, I don't have, have a copy. Excuse me. I don't have a copy of the 21 uh, Mass Wildlife Regulations, but it is my uh, belief that tree stands are covered under the current hunting laws and that they are to be removed uh, at the end of the season. So there is that uh, protection as well, Mr. Pearson. I just want to make sure they get taken down so they don't do more yep. damage than necessary. I quite agree with you. With that being said, we could continue if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, access on property is one hour before sunrise, one hour after sunset. This will be strictly enforced. Be advised, legal shooting time is one half hour before sunrise and one half hour after sunset. All deer harvested during controlled hunt must be checked in at the fall at the Freetown Fall River State Forest. If you shoot a deer and it enters a restricted area or the reservoir itself, call Watupper Reservation Headquarters at 508-324-2749, Monday through Friday from 7 to 3 is the standard business hours, or the water filtration plant, which has a 24-hour line at 508-324-2723. Parking is allowed in designated areas. Do not block gates, subject to fine or tow. Because the Watupper Reservation is surrounded by other landowners, hunters are reminded about the setbacks from an occupied dwelling and paved roads. A person shall, shall not discharge any firearm or release any arrow upon or across state hard surface highway or within 150 feet of such highway, or possess a loaded firearm or hunt by any means on the land of another within 500 feet of any dwelling in use, except as authorized by the owner or occupant thereof. Owners are reminded the city of Fall River has an ordinance hit, hit whereby a person shall not discharge a firearm within 825 feet of an occupied dwelling. Um, just a note on that one, all of the permits that were issued were also issued with the map uh, of that uh, area. Mr. Ferland, can we get a report as to how many permits were issued? To date, 22 issues have been permitted. I'm sorry, to date, 22 keys have been permitted. Now, I'm assuming that means permits also. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, a key that comes with a permit. Okay, thank you. Hunter Orange, 500 square inches of Hunter Orange on the chest, back, and head, regardless of the hunting implement you are using. No, if you're the blind, hunters must still wear 500 square inches of Hunter Orange on the chest, back, and head. No litter or refuse of any sort may be thrown or left in or on the land or water within the reservoir zone. No deer pots shall be disposed of within 100 feet of any brook, stream, wetland, or other water body. All acts which may pollute the water supply are strictly prohibited. Question, please. Mr. Labasa, you may be better to answer this, but once somebody shoots at whatever, the shotgun shell is obviously, if you're in a stand, going to fall to the ground. I'm assuming that means you have to clean that up. Because um, it becomes refuge. Yeah, yeah if, if it's possible, yes. Even if it's not possible, Mike, it's their obligation. I, I, can't, I can't speak as though I know the law on that, Bob, so I don't quite know the answer. Well, I think that's why we have this in print. If it says any refuge, you yep. know, that means a broken shoelace, in my opinion. Yep. Please continue. Any, any violation of 313 CMR 11 
1.09 will be deemed sufficient cause for revoking of hunting permit for a period of time not less than one year from the time of violation. Failure to follow the rules and regulations uh, may result in immediate suspension of gate access permit. An operator of vehicle found on fire lane not designated for this hunting purpose will be subject to a trespass order and a $500 per an offense. Uh, last I make a page. motion to accept this report as written and as read at this time and date. Before we um, move to that, I, I would just like to uh, ask is, uh, we have a couple of uh, additions to this uh, regarding the, the hunting dogs and um, the uh, target shooting on the uh, interlocking or Copa Cut rifle range. So I, I would like to see that included to wipe out any ambiguity there. Okay. Uh, I'm only mindful that perhaps maybe uh, Attorney Howieck needs to think about the wording of hunting dogs, just as a su suggestion. Regarding what, Mr. Pearson? The use of hunting dogs. I think uh, Attorney Howieck. It's provided has... under the CR. You have um, you have rabbit hunters and bird hunters who do uh, hunt on the property, and they do bring hounds. Um, usually, those dogs are under the control of the hunter, but uh, they are included in the CR. Obviously, it's going to need some uh, careful consideration, but I'll go along with that. Mr. Terrio, could I? I mean, uh, could I suggest? Um, just literally cutting and pasting those specific sentences that are in the conservation restriction and adding them as bullets at the end of the present rule. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I'd like to see that done, Michael. Okay. I'll, I'll I do it verbatim. I could agree with that. <clears throat> so we have a motion on the floor from Mr. Pearson. Uh, is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Ferreira. Would the clerk call the roll? President Terrio? Yes. Member Pearson? Yes. Member Ferreira? Yes. Mr. Ferreira, I'd like to thank you for reading it. I know it was kind of lengthy, <laughs> but I think it was important that we do it that way. Thank you. Yep. Item number four on the agenda, other potential matters. Is there anything to come before the board? Yes, there is. Mr. Phil, in the last meeting, I asked about the two, uh, I believe they're called inspection towers near the filtration plant. What is the progress on when we look to repair those? The two... And the last time you said in the future. The future uh, could be a long time from now. So... The specific towers that you're talking about, are you talking about the two screen houses that we have uh, that no, are out no, of the I'm talking about, I believe they were used for night watchmen. They went actually out into the water and the bricks and the roof were falling apart on them. And then there's those the were gate houses, machine. weren't they? Right. Yeah, so, the, so those are the two screen houses. Uh, one is from the 1873 pump station, which was the uh, gatehouse and screen house that accepted water from the Watupa pond into that uh, into that building. Uh, that's the uh, that's the granite one that is out in front of the 1875 uh, uh, excuse me 1873 pump station. Um, that one is uh, that one is um, going to be repaired again in the future. It's uh, budgetary uh, estimated cost to uh, to stabilize that is about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Uh, so again, that's uh, that's that's budgetary uh, type thing. Um, at this point, uh, it needs to be worked into one of our future future phases. Um, the other thing, the other one to the north of there um, is uh, the screen house and gate house for the electric pump station. What we call the electric pump station, 
uh, that was uh, sort of 1940s, um, same time that the actual pump station was built, the electric pump station there. Um, that is uh, slated to be uh, demolished when that uh, electric pump station is demolished. Thank you. Yep. Hearing no further business to come before the board, I'd like a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion to adjourn. Motion Second. made by Mr. Pearson. Seconded. Yes. By Mr. Ferreira. The clerk call the roll. On uh, adjournment, President Terrio. Yes. Member Pearson. Yes. Member Ferreira. Yes.